yeah hello friends in our ssrs tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create a, a ssrs report whenever we are going to export this report that report should be opened into multiple tabs to provide a specific information which is related to the to the tab and tab name should be the related to the information on the report like this we have containing region country sales channel revenue cost and total profit so we need to create a report to open into multiple tabs in ssrs which should be on region specific tabs so i'm just going to copy this query and go to the our SSRS report builder. We have a already blank report and we have already connect it with our database. Now I need to add a data set. Now name of the data set we can say that is DS region sales sales and select embedded data set and paste this query here and click on OK button. Now you can see we have the data set now we need a tabular table here so just add a table to the report okay now we need to align the data set name to the table now that is the name now what we are going to do here we need to add a group because we need to create a tabs tabs for the groups on region so i am going to use a region as a group okay now i am just using country sales channel total revenue two more column for the remaining informations now mm, cost and total profit so now you can see i am going to generate this report over here again just uh, preview of this report yeah it is looking like this and if i am going to scroll down then other region also appearing on the report so i need to set this next region to the next page so for this what i'm going to do here i'm going to the report group region property and page break like this okay now just preview this report again now you can see that this report is generating for a specific region only for the next page you can see now i am going to align so one more thing over here then you can see in the next page header is missing so we have to reset the header for this what i am going to do here i am going to the advanced mode and in the static field what i am going to do here i am going to choose keep together value as a true okay and put on repeat on new pages true also and preview this now you can see that our header is fixed for every next page so i am just formatting it and font color font size should be 9 bold and for the region what i'm going to do here i'm going to change the font size only and the border color should be and for this border color should be maroon okay 
in the report preview you can see that uh, we have fixed the paging for the region and uh, another thing we have set the report header fixed to every new page so what I need to do here now whenever we are going to export this report into Excel it should be open with the same region name in a tab so what we are going to do here uh, for this I am going to go to this property and here there is an option that is if I am going to right click on it I am able to open the group properties in group property you can see these are the things okay yeah now for this what I need to do here for region there is a group and in this group there is a page break and the page break just page break then there is a page name so I need to write an expression for this and and uh, for the fill ds region cells I am going to pass the value from the region ok so it is it is the last thing which we have done for our report and just preview of it now I am going to export this report into excel ok yeah save now I am just going to open this report into excel ok now you can see in excel whenever uh, there is a specific tab, tab that related to the data which is available in asia tab same for australia same central asia america and same for europe middle east and north north america and sub saharan africa so you can see it is very easy to create a SSRS report to export into uh, to export it into Excel with multiple tabs multiple tabs and tab name should be related to the data which is available on the report so please subscribe my channel on YouTube for more videos on SSRS, SSIS and SSRS and SQL Server.